Today is a Saturday. It's a, a, what time is it? It's a, a quarter of one. This morning at 10 o'clock, Andrea calls me and asks me what I'm going to have for dinner tonight at 5 o'clock. Yeah, Saturday morning, 10 o'clock. You get a call at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning from your wife. If you say, why is Andrea calling me? Doesn't she sleep in the same bed? And he's at the in-laws. That's another story altogether. But she called me this morning at 10 o'clock. Said, what are we having? What are you going to have for dinner tonight at 5 o'clock? Because tonight, the whole family's coming. The, 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 the nephews, the nieces, the brother, the mother. So I can't pay for the whole family. I don't have enough money to pay for the whole family. So you got to tell me what you're going to have for dinner because you all can't have soup and salad and the dessert. And you can't have that. So what are you going to have for dinner tonight at 5 o'clock? I said, can I call you at 4.30 and let you know what I'm going to have at 5 o'clock? What do I, right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to have for breakfast at 10 o'clock. Why do I have to tell you what I'm going to have at 5 o'clock? I can't write this stuff. That, that's why it, nothing makes any sense. And is living with the in-law, and the in-law, her my in-law, the mother-in-law, um, sits on a chair all day. Sits on a chair like Archie Bunker watches television all day. Jared went to visit the in-law. Every day, she watches television in the chair, and then at the dinner time, at 5.30 or so, because she has to eat at 5.30, she must eat at 5.30, can't do nothing else but 5.30, eat dinner at 5.30, she walks three feet from the television chair to the kitchen chair. Three feet from the television chair to the kitchen chair, she has her own kitchen chair, she has her own television chair, and she sits in the same kitchen chair, she has dinner at 5.30, she gets up at 5.35, gets up back to the television chair. It goes on every day like that. So Jared went to visit the in-law one day, and Jared is sitting in the, the in-law's kitchen chair, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, he's on his phone, he's texting, he's doing whatever, he's visiting the in-law. The in-law's in the television chair, three feet away from the kitchen chair. Jared's sitting in the in-law's kitchen chair at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and the in-law's sitting in the television chair, but the in-law is not watching the television. The in-law is watching Jared sitting in the in-law's kitchen chair. The in-law's in her television chair looking at Jared sitting in the kitchen chair. And at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Jared goes to visit her, and Jared's sitting in the kitchen chair, three feet from the television chair, and the in-law, she's watching Jared sitting in the kitchen chair, says to Jared at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, at 5.30, I sit there. <laughs> Can't write this stuff. So Andrea must get it from the in-laws. Because Andrea's calling me at 10 o'clock in the morning, asking me what I'm going to have at 5 o'clock tonight for dinner. And that's the whole block. I, I couldn't write this stuff. On Monday, we, the, our water pipes broke. On Monday, the water pipes broke. I had no hot water. And the, 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 the plumber had to come out. As soon as the water pipes broke, Andrea went to the... Like, she flew out of here like like uh, like the, the speed the speed runner. The, speed runner, the, the road runner. And, and just like the road runner. What? We have no hot water? I can't stay here in this house. Ran right to the in-law's house. Been there all week. Today's Saturday. Been there since Monday. Had to get to the in-law's No hot water? I can't. Why do I have to be here with no hot water? I got a dog to take care of. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? So she's been at the in-law's house all week. What she doesn't know is that the plumber came to fix the, the hot water... On Wednesday, uh, Monday night, the, the insurance company came out, the assessment, which another blog will do all together. They said, oh, you're going to call a plumber. Why do I have to call the plumber? Why is the insurance company called another blog all together? The, the plumber came on Tuesday. Where I've had hot water, I think, since Tuesday. Since Tuesday, I've had hot water. That's how fast they came. They took the pipe, one, two, three. Now they're cleaning out the garage. The whole to do restoration. It's, in the, it's a whole thing going on right now in my house. But the hot water was fixed on Tuesday. Andy doesn't know that. So I said, well, you know, Andy ran out of the house. So she had no water. That's it. And she's been there all week at the in-laws. Today's Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five, six days. Been at the in-laws. She doesn't know we have hot water. Don't tell her. Is that for good help? How bad is this? <laughs> she was the first to run out, with no hot, leaving me here with no hot water. Didn't help fight the fight with hot water. So she doesn't know. So for a few more days, what the, what, how, how bad could it be? Our parties, uh, have, uh, the girls are coming over. It's like Animal House. I'm here with Jack. We're like two bachelors. We're like, we're like the odd couple. That's what it's like in this house here. It's like we got two Oscar Madisons. Like not, not one of us is Felix Unger, two Oscar Madisons. But that's what it's like. Go, Andrew doesn't know. So let, let's see how long I can go on here that Andrew doesn't think we have hot water and how long she'll stay at the in-laws. That's the blog for today. That Andrew has no idea we have hot water in the house. And uh, I've had it since she left on Monday, had hot water on Tuesday, doesn't know. And she's still at the in-laws. And I had to stand outside with the, with the construction crew, with the, all, the building, take all my stuff, my toys from Philadelphia and all the kids. So much out of the garage. For hours I'm outside. You think I got a lot of work done? Hours I'm outside. And I, I, I need no help. Just me outside walking the dog, doing the blogs, answering the phones, going to meetings. Anyway... <laughs> And me outside all day, a big waste of time. I got nothing else. Go to Dave's TV Empire at Rogers.com. I have so much going on. I need project managers. I need business partners. 
I'm very lucky that these Shark Tank, Dragon's Den type TV product suppliers get in touch with me to market their products. I, have, I don't have to inventory anything. I want to quickly get it on TV. I'm doing business with a huge media buyer because they have ID TV shows. I got PI deals. PI deals are per inquiry. Excuse me. I got so much jazz. I can drop to Pittsburgh. Guess TV stations. Want the 200 TV stations want my shows to air on TV for nothing. I split the dough with them. But I have no websites. I have no web stores for the shows to go to. I'm not going to a call center where an opera. I go right to the web. Everything's online now. But I need business partners to run the deal. I'm very lucky. I'm real estate and TV products and check girls and bloggers. I have built an empire. I'm Richard Branson. And he says, stop telling people you're Richard Branson. I am. In my mind, I'm Richard Branson. And I got so much on the table, but I need people to run stuff. I got a huge deal with a, 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 a talent. A talent. These, these celebrities come to me to represent them, to manage them. People that are on uh, TV shows, I got so I, I can't keep track. I'm, it's not what I do. I'm an executive producer. I put deals together. I'm like, uh, what's his name? Um, Jerry Weintraub. I should be so lucky to be like Jerry Weintraub. Have success. But I put, if I was the executive producer, puts the writers, the actors, the suit packet. That's what I do. I put deals together. I put people together. The problem is I got nobody putting them together. They all tell me I got a list of web guys. They all do shit. If you're an eBay guy, a video guy, a business partner, a sales guy, get in touch with me. And run the empire so I could do what I do, which is television. Dave's TV Empire at Rogers.com. And I, I can't finish up this blog now because it's uh, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't given Andrew my menu yet for tonight's dinner at 5 o'clock. i got to give her a whole menu. Well, I'm going to have the tomato soup. Then I'll have the cucumber salad. But I can't have the veal. I'll have a half a pie. I can't get the whole pie. I'll have a quarter of a, of a soda. I can't have the whole soda. got to give it a whole menu. Dave's TV Empire at Rogers.com. Can't write this stuff. That's why I do these blogs. Andrew, just gets so mad. Why are you telling people personal stuff about the family? I'd be pulling the hair out of my head, jumping off a bridge if I didn't tell everybody what's going on because nobody believes it. They all think it's me. They think they said Andrew for years. I've been married. I've been in love with the same woman for 25 years. In love with the same woman for 25 years. And if Andrew finds that, she'll kill me. Uh, it's actually um, 20. I think I'm married 28 years. I don't. I, don't even, I can't. I don't even know how long I've been married for. That's how long I've been married. I. I, I I, if I didn't tell you what's going on, they all think it's me. They say, hey, how do you live with them for all this? <laughs> me? They think I'm the nut. I'm the same kid I was in high school. I'm the same kid growing up in Philadelphia, the Red Avenue and Arnold Street. I'm the same lovable, funny, great, sweet kid. Everybody else is nuts around me. And that's why I do these blogs. I can't write this stuff. Dave's TV Empire at Rogers.com. Let's go make a lot of money together because it's all about the cash. Goodbye.